Russian-Ukrainian war has brought up questions about the ongoing practicality of tanks in warfare. Tanks, which played a defining role during World War I and were central to many military conflicts in the latter half of the 20th century, now face challenges that could affect their importance on the battlefield. The war currently raging in Europe has significantly impacted the perception of tank warfare, as demonstrated by the development and evolution of the German main battle tank, KF-51. In 2022, the KF-51 Panther tank became the first fourth-generation tank to be introduced in the West. Two years later, just before the Euro Saturday 2024 arms exhibition, the tank was presented again, this time at an arms show in Paris. However, it underwent a rebranding. The name Panther was dropped, replaced by the more concise designation KF Duan Yu. The decision to remove the Panther name was tied to historical sensitivities. The Panther was one of the most iconic tanks in World War II, a war that Germany ultimately lost. Now, with images of destroyed German tanks circulating from the war in Ukraine, there are undesirable associations with the name. The name change to KF-51U is significant because it stands for the tank's modernization and evolution, specifically focusing on an unmanned turret. The KF-51U, much like the original Panther, is based on the Leopard 2A4 hull. However, it has undergone substantial upgrades. A key modernization is the relocation of the ammunition storage from the hull, where it used to be positioned to the left of the driver, to a newly developed unmanned combat module. In this redesigned version, the tank commander also has an individual seat and hatch, a configuration similar to recent updates in other tanks like the Leclerc. The most substantial changes to the KF-51U are found in the tank's turret, especially the combat module. The KF-51U features a new, completely unmanned combat module known as the CUT, concept unmanned turret. This turret is remotely operated, a revolutionary feature likely influenced by the lessons learned from combat operations in Ukraine, where tanks, including Western models such as Leopards, Abrams, and Challengers, struggled to achieve significant results. The Ukrainian counteroffensive did not reach its objectives, and footage of destroyed Leopards gained global attention. The failure of these tanks in modern warfare may explain why the term Panther was removed from the latest German tank's name. To avoid associations with past defeats, the ongoing war in Ukraine has exposed some of the weaknesses in Western tanks. One primary issue is their low mobility due to heavy weight, which has led to tanks getting stuck in the difficult terrain of Ukrainian fields. Another major weakness is their vulnerability to drones. Affordable drones costing as little as $300 were capable of disabling multi-million dollar tanks, leaving them exposed to artillery fire. The designers of the KF-51 addressed the first issue by making the tank about 10 tons lighter than the Leopard 2A7. Despite the weight reduction, the tank retains the same V12 MTU MB873 KA501 engine, which delivers 500 horsepower. This results in a power to weight ratio of 25.4 horsepower per ton, the highest among modern tanks. To tackle the problem of vulnerability to drones, the tank's new design includes an unmanned turret. By excluding personnel from the turret, the internal space can be reduced, allowing for thicker top armor, which is often targeted by drones. This setup also ensures that, even if the turret's armor is breached, the crew located in an armored capsule beneath the turret remains safe. Additionally, the freed-up space can be used for integrating electronic warfare equipment to disrupt communication signals between drones and their operators. The question of the tank's cannon caliber is also intriguing. Ryan Mattal has once again showcased a version of the KF-51 equipped with a 130 mm gun, a weapon that proved its worth two years ago. The war in Ukraine highlighted that modern 190 mm tank guns are inadequate against heavily armored Russian tanks, while the older 120 mm 120 L44 gun used on tanks such as the Leopard 2A5 could penetrate 660 mm of armor the new 130mm gun is capable of piercing up to 1,000mm. No existing tank can withstand a shot from this gun, even on the most heavily armored parts. The ongoing development of tank calibers is also influenced by what the U.S. military decides to implement on its next-generation M1E3 Abrams tanks. If the American military opts for a higher caliber, it could set a new standard.
Rheinmetall has an edge in this regard, as it already supplies the 120mm cannons used on the M1A2 Abrams. Since the KF-51U's turret is uninhabited, an automatic loading system is essential. This automated system means the crew size will be reduced to three members. As there is no longer a need for a loader, although space for a fourth crew member is available, ammunition for the KF-51U is stored in the rear of the turret, with two magazines for different shell types, such as high explosive and anti-tank rounds. However, the total capacity is limited to 25 shells, a reduction from the Leopard 2's 42 shells. As for machine gun armament, the KF-51U has a 12.799 Metimelony BMG machine gun mounted coaxially with the main gun. This setup automatically aligns the machine gun with the main cannon's aim, a feature not commonly found in the latest tank designs, which typically employ remote-controlled weapon stations with full 360-degree rotation on the turret roof. The KF-51U does include a 7.62 mm to remote control triple barrel machine gun on the turret roof, designed specifically to combat drones by maintaining firing accuracy while preventing barrel overheating. The question of integrating kamikaze drones or loitering munitions with the KF-51U is yet to be fully addressed. The original KF-51 design included provisions for launching Hero 120 drones, which could deliver warheads up to 3.5 kilos and operate within a 40 kilometer range. The latest information on the KF-51U only mentions a reconnaissance drone, leaving it unclear whether Hero drones can be launched from the tank or if a dedicated launcher can be installed if needed. Adding kamikaze drones to a tank could provide strategic advantages, but it also complicates crew management, potentially requiring a fourth crew member for drone operation. The KF-51U, like the original KF-51, incorporates dynamic armor on the hull. This armor is designed to resist penetration from shaped charges, similar to the older Soviet Contact-1 dynamic armor seen on tanks used by the Ukrainian military. However, the new dynamic armor on the KF-51U is expected to have much higher protective capabilities. Additionally, the tank comes equipped with active defense systems like Rhine Metal's AMAP or the Israeli-made Iron Fist. The Iron Fist system was featured on the KF-51U during the Eurosatry exhibition and is a competitor to the Trophy system, also from Israel. Both systems detect incoming threats and neutralize them before impact, typically using shrapnel to destroy incoming projectiles. The KF-51U is also equipped with advanced electronics, fire control systems, and a battle management system, BMS. This BMS allows the crew to communicate and operate within a unified command and control network, integrating data from various sensors and systems. It enables real-time information gathering, processing, and dissemination, allowing the crew to make rapid and informed decisions based on the battlefield situation. Despite all these features, the KF-51U remains a prototype and a technology demonstrator. While it represents a more advanced version compared to the original KF-51, it is still fundamentally a deep modernization of the Leopard 2 rather than a completely new tank design. As such, it offers a potentially cost-effective option for countries that already operate Leopard 2 tanks, allowing them to upgrade without the need for an entirely new vehicle platform. The competitive landscape for the KF-51U is influenced by the parallel development of the Franco-German Main Ground Combat System, MGCS. This project aims to replace the Leopard 2 and the French Leclerc tanks, and it does not involve Rheinmetall, the company behind the KF-51. Instead, the MGCS is a collaboration between the German company Kraus Maffei Wegmann, KMW, and the French company Nexter. The German government, which has announced significant investments to modernize its military, faces a decision between choosing the KF-51U, the MGCS, or potentially both, depending on budgetary constraints and strategic priorities. Germany's stagnant economy and declining living standards make funding both tank programs difficult. However, some military strategists believe the potential threat of conflict with Russia justifies investing in both as their complementary strengths offer greater flexibility. The KF-51U is an embodiment of the broader trends in military technology, where advancements are driven by practical lessons from contemporary conflicts. The war in Ukraine has underscored the limitations of traditional tank designs, 
and highlighted the need for innovations to address new threats such as drones and precision-guided munitions. The introduction of unmanned turrets, enhanced firepower, and electronic warfare capabilities is a response to these evolving challenges, signaling a shift in how modern armored vehicles are designed and used in combat. As the KR Fever Fuan Yu continues to develop, its role in Futura Warfare will depend on whether its features can effectively address the challenges that have made tanks seem less relevant in recent conflicts. Whether it will become a widely adopted solution or remain a specialized option depends on military needs, technological advancements, and geopolitical considerations. The competition with other tank development programs, such as the MGCS, will also shape the future direction of armored warfare in Europe and beyond.